Hello, I am Jonathan Bond. I'm Jonathan Klinsman. We are goalkeepers for the LA Galaxy. Thank you guys for submitting some questions. So we're excited for you to get to know us. How did you first start goalkeeping and why? So in my Sunday league team, amateur team, our goalkeeper got injured in like the off season. And I was a big Chelsea fan. And the goalkeeper at the time was a goalkeeper called Carlo Cudicini, who actually played here at Galaxy. And yeah, he was kind of like my hero. I used to make big, important saves um, whenever I used to go and watch. So I decided to give it a go at my Sunday league team and um, found out I was decent at it. And suddenly I was kind of thrust in a few weeks later to academy football. So that's kind of how it all started. Um, how about you? How did you decide on being a goalkeeper, seeing as you come from a striker heritage? Um, I was, I, like, like you too, I was an outfield player. Uh, and I, my family, we moved to Germany at one point. And just in, in that school, I would start going in goal. You know, I was the, the taller kid. And it was something about, you know, the, just the, the ability to, to make saves and, and just to have fun and, you know, in the rain and, and all that kind of stuff, especially in Europe, the, the weather was, it was just fun to, fun. fun to be a goalkeeper. And then I think at that point, I was kind of just like, you know what, I might do this, might do this full time and switch. Was he able to give you advice on goalkeeping from the perspective of being a striker, if that makes sense? Yeah. Or was it very much separate? No, totally, totally. I mean, it's like you get different kind of advice from different people. So from him, it was from the perspective of, you know, the striker, like what he's looking at when he's, you know, going one-on-one -on -one or, or shooting or whatever and whatnot. And then you obviously have like, you know, your goalkeeper coach that's telling you from the perspective of the keeper and you kind of mix those two together and you kind of see what you get. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, he definitely, definitely helped a lot. I think we just answered like the first five questions. <laughs> yeah, we did. Who was your first goalkeeping idol? Well, I'll ask you. So I mentioned Carlo Cudicini was kind of my first, maybe Petr Cech later on as I was trying to make it in academy football. But who was your first goalkeeping idol? I think I've had a, I've had a couple. I think, you know, you kind of take a lot of aspects of different goalkeepers games and you try to kind of make them into your own. But I think the first one when I switched, or at least when you know I like I became a goalkeeper, it was uh, Jens Lehmann, mm. the, the the German goalkeeper. You still watch him for Arsenal or? No, for Germany. For Germany. For Germany, not Arsenal. <laughs> 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 uh, but he was kind of like my first first idol um, as a goalkeeper, and then I think you know as the years went on and you I kind of you know actually became a goalkeeper and kind of went with it. Uh, you kind of look around and see you know like. Um, Manuel Neuer's footwork or uh, you know, even you can see you know American goalkeepers like uh, Nick Armando you look at his penalty um, stopping and stuff like that so kind of just take it from yeah. different guys and, and try and go with your style exactly yeah. yeah very good okay uh, what's it what's it like training with uh, with Kevin Hartman so it's actually Kevin's birthday today it is, um, yeah. randomly happy birthday Kevin <laughs> happy birthday um, <laughs> literally just stepped off the field from training with him today but so how was it how was it it's today? great honestly he, he made me feel very welcome um, as soon as I came here obviously I just moved basically across the world and um, he kind of had insight as to what was expected from this club a little bit about the history of the club mm. um, a little bit about um, what the league is like as, as well because it's very much an unknown for me coming in um, you can watch some on TV but you don't really know until you're here playing mm. in it and playing against yeah. the players so he was uh, able to give me a lot of um, support and, uh, and insight into into the league um, mm. obviously you had trained with him for six months yeah I mean overall it's been it's been great, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, w one thing about goalkeeping coaches is you take a lot of different things from each one that you've trained with. Yeah, for sure. Um, some can be heavy on the physical side of things. Some can be heavy. I think Kevin's really um, tuned into the tactical side of things and communication. And um, yeah, it's every goalkeeping coach kind of got their own style, for sure. um, which I love, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but no, it's been great. Um, Happy birthday, Kev. <laughs> uh, Feel free to have a wing as well. <laughs> I asked him one question and I started eating halfway through his answer. I felt so rude. Just I crunching know. away like this. Yeah. Actually, I trained with a goalkeeper, and Manuel Munia, who oh, obviously had yeah, um, yeah. a big rival with um, yes. Lehman at yeah, Arsenal. Yeah. 
Uh, we share the same birthday. Happy birthday, man! <laughs> for last week. But um, oh, yeah, man. I was lucky enough to, to train with him for a couple of years. Really impressive oh, nice. goalkeeper. Where was that? At the at Watford. Watford. Okay, yeah. that's what I thought. Right, so Let's go back a five-a-side team made up purely of goalkeepers, <laughs> which would be interesting. <laughs> Who would you start with up front and you can't pick yourself? Um, but you can pick me. <laughs> no, no, you can't pick either of us. Well, I mean, the only keeper striker I know is Jorge Campos. Mm. So I kinda, you gotta, kinda go, gotta go with him. And then... But well, we were just having this conversation downstairs. The New York Red Bulls goalkeeper went up, yeah. Went, got subbed in as a, yeah. an attacker. You yeah. were telling me this. Super jealous. <laughs> Super jealous. Great. Uh, Where's Greg? Yeah, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. Uh, Jorge Campos, striker. You gotta put Neuer in there, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, Ter Stegen? Ter Stegen in there too. Edison? Edison and maybe Allison too. That's, that's Where's Allison going in goal? All the Brazilians <laughs> and all the Germans. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and they're they're big bodies too. They can be enforcers, you know. Mm -hmm. I think that's a, that's a solid team. Yeah, that is pretty solid. Pretty solid. I'm not going to try and create my own. That yeah, sounds good. If you could play another position, what would it be? <sighs> Left wing. Left wing. Left wing. Not striker. Cut in. You can cut in, man. <laughs> cut in. Do you Eric. think you have the pace for left wing? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about you? Uh, I was a runner. I used to be a runner. Not anymore. But so it would have probably been anywhere in, in midfield. But I've seen some of the, the level that these guys are at, who we play yeah. with every day. It makes yeah. it feel very far yeah, away. Yeah. But, I mean, um, I think realistically, left winger. You know, stay on the touch line. But it's you know, it's. Mm. it's or right back, easiest <laughs> position in the game, isn't right it? Back. Right and left back. Anywhere out there is a lot of running, is a lot of hard work. So I think I think I'd have to be up top somewhere. Yeah. Put me anywhere up top, I'll be happy. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're less of a liability out there. One hundred percent. If we lose 100%. the ball. Yeah. Uh, what's a career goal that you have for yourself? I don't set firm career goals, which maybe I should, mm. but I don't. Um, I kind of just focus game by game, yeah. week by week. Um, I kind of found that. Goal setting can be really good and positive thing and important mm. in life, but at the same time, it's very difficult to set specific goals sometimes in competitive sport yeah. because things don't always work out exactly oh. how you, you make this plan. I'm going to do this by that age or I'm going to do this and this. Yeah. Just have to be the best you can be, I think, every day and try and perform every time we get an opportunity. So mm -hmm. I think, um, yeah, I, I would love to win as a team, we would love to win the MLS Cup. I think it would be an obvious one whilst mm. we're here. Individual goals, I don't set too many. How about yourself? I have similar. I think for me, I kind of go like month by month, mm. kind of see like what the month has in store and kind of set two or three goals where you kind of, um, you know, you set like a, an easy one, uh, a moderate one, and a, maybe a, a more difficult one that you kind of reach for. Um, but again, it's, it's, it's hard, it's hard to, like you said, it's hard to. How specific are these goals that you're setting? It'll, so it's more like the easy one is, is less specific. It'll kind of get more specific as it gets harder. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it can go anywhere from, from very personal kind of, you know, game to game to a team goal, you know, mm -hmm. the, you know like we said with, with the whole team at the beginning of the month. Some quick fire ones. Just let me know if I've got a lot of wing around my mouth. Because <laughs> that was really messy, that last bite. Tasted good though. Okay. So can you remember the first match you ever attended? First match you ever went to? I can't remember the first match I ever went to, but I've been told it was a Tottenham game. Any Tottenham game? When my dad was still playing. Ah. So I think I've been told that multiple times. Okay. Obviously can't remember it because I was super young. How, how old were you? I think I was like one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, hooligan. Well, you're I guess hooligan. I know, right? But I guess it is cool that I at least at one point saw my dad play. Uh, that is cool. But um, yeah, that is, that's the first game. I don't I don't remember the first game I, I attended. I remember a lot of games that I have attended, obviously, mm -hmm. but the first one is... How uh, how old were you when you stopped playing? He, I think two. Oh, okay. Two or three, yeah. But so, again, it was kind of cool. At one point I did, you know, see him play, even though I don't remember. That's cool. Uh, but yeah. Did you have the dad 
daddy on the back of the t-shirt. I'll I'll find a photo for you. I have no idea. I also cannot remember. Yeah. So it would have been a Chelsea game back in the day. Yeah, yeah, we used to go to all the Chelsea games. I want to say Coventry for some reason. Chelsea Coventry. We'll we'll fact check that later. Yeah, but that could be completely wrong. (laughs) Find out Coventry in the third division that year or something. Okay, what's what's the what's the match you've attended that sticks out most in your mind? Uh, the Champions League final in uh, in Munich. You're not a Bayern fan, are you? Uh, that will not be discussed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you weren't a Bayern fan. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but I can't say that. Oh right. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> cut. Cut. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, um, yeah. I say yeah. yes. It's not good if I say no. Okay, Good. well, either way, it was, um, yeah, Chelsea Bayern Munich Champions League final. That okay. was that was good, I think. It was it was on my birthday, actually. What, on my, what year was that? It was 2012. 2012. So, oh, okay. Whatever yeah. birthday that was for me, I think 18th birthday, something like that. Something along those lines. That was pretty cool. Um, moving on, how do you select your goalkeeping gloves and what qualities do you look for? Man, I'm really specific with the goalkeeper gloves. You are, aren't you? Yeah, mm. really specific. Um, uh, for me, I've been using Adidas for a while now. I've used other gloves, you know, here and there in training, um, but the Adidas ones for me are just the best. I think it's just the feeling of the palm, the, the padding, uh, the foam underneath the actual um, grip itself uh, that needs to be a, thir- a certain thickness. Mm. So it gets really specific. By millimeter. Yeah, it gets very specific. Um, and if it's not, Specific. If it's not, you know how I like it. It, it can get, it, yeah. I just, I, I won't, I won't wear it. Yeah. You know? So because it's, it's just very specific and can get to your head a little bit, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I am very specific. I think the biggest change for me in the last couple of years is that no strap. Yeah. The no strap. I always, I think we all of us always had the strap, mm-hmm. and then um, a lot of companies went away from it and just getting used to that. But yeah, it looks cooler, doesn't it? That's why, it, they, it that's looks, why they do it. It looks pretty cool. It looks yeah. pretty cool. What about you? Um, so I was kind of Nike for a while, and then when I moved out here, obviously the league's sponsored by, by Adidas. Mm-hmm. So, Adidas. Adidas. So, um, I, I changed and really enjoyed it. And then the second season, I kind of wanted to freshen things up a bit, kind of got a little bit um, I'm bored, maybe is the wrong word. So I changed back, but then I kind of realized how good the Adidas gloves were mm. in the second season that when I was wearing Nike, I definitely felt more comfortable in the Adidas. So then this season I've gone back and um, I honestly am the same as you, I really enjoy yeah. those gloves, they're really, yeah. they're top. Um, this is, not, this is not an ad, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay guys, thank you for joining us. We've enjoyed talking goalkeeping together. I'm Jonathan Bond. I'm Jonathan Quinsman. And we'll see you soon.